What political philosopher or thinker do you most identify with and why? Okay. Governor Bush. Uh, Christ, because he changed my heart. Carter was open about his faith while running for president, describing himself as a born-again Christian and winning a majority of the evangelical vote in 1976. The precepts of Jesus Christ spoke to me in terms of the kind of life that I would want to lead. Religion is like a knife. If you use it to cut bread, it's good. If you use it to cut off your neighbor's arm, it's bad. We will never give away our freedom. We will never abandon our belief in God. Every four years, our constitutional system directs us to elect a president of the United States. At least for people with high political interest, the presidential campaign season is an extended Super Bowl. We enjoy watching candidates test different election strategies. We watch for the inevitable human moments we call gaffes, and we learn about candidates' politics and ideology, character and stamina, and because this is America, their religious faith. Every major candidate since the country's founding has owned or otherwise demonstrated some kind of religious beliefs and attitudes. To what degree candidates' religiosity really affects their values and decisions, or to what degree this matters is left for the voters to ascertain. Until he won the Protestant-dominated West Virginia primary in 1960, people wondered whether Catholic JFK was electable. Jimmy Carter talked about being born again, yet got into short-term trouble for a Playboy interview in which he admitted having lusted in his heart. In 2000, George W. Bush triggered a reaction when he said Jesus Christ in answering a question about who was the most influential philosopher in his life. In 2004, John Kerry talked about being an altar boy but misquoted the scripture. In 2008, it was President Barack Obama's Chicago pastor. In 2012, Mitt Romney's Mormon faith or Michelle Bachman's evangelical convictions that stirred voters. Every American presidential election involves religion, and it should. Voters have a legitimate interest in learning how a candidate's faith may influence his or her executive decision making. But declaring you won't vote for a candidate because he or she isn't aligned with each and every one of your own moral viewpoints may not be advisable. Candidates shouldn't be expected to parse theology on every issue. They aren't running for senior pastor. Presidential candidates aspire to be political leaders, not leaders of your church. We've been blessed with some good presidents. The question is, who among the latest crop of candidates, all of whom are religious, would make a good president?